Hi, this is Lauren with Sisu. I am going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use Sisu to manage transactions. This will be mostly helpful to transaction coordinators um, to know what things you can add into the system to make it um, customizable to you and really tailored to your team. So I always tell transaction coordinators where they're going to be hanging out really the most is in this admin tab right here. So I'll go ahead and click and show you this drop down menu. Um, the first thing that I'm going to show you is the lead sources. So in your transactions, we have made it so that you can add in your own custom lead sources as well as vendors. So we'll go over lead sources first. So if you go to this page, you'll see that there are a ton of lead sources that we already have in our system as you scroll down. So if you see any of these that you use a lot, go ahead and just click add and that will add it to your list up here. And if you accidentally add one, go ahead and click remove. But this will show up anytime you put in a transaction in a drop down menu um, as your lead sources. And if you need to add a custom lead source, like if you want to do a referral from Lauren, you could add it in there. Make it really specific to your team. Um, that way you can keep track of everything a lot better. So there's where you're going to add in your lead sources. And then same thing here with vendors. So you can choose whether you want to add in on this type, escrow company, home inspection, home warranty, mortgage, title company. Um, those are the different ones we have in here. These are the ones that we have already added. If you need to remove one at any time or edit it at any time, you're more than welcome to do so. Um, but if we're adding in another mortgage company, just go ahead and put the name up here, um, contact information down here, click add, and it will pull into this list. Now, if we go into admin transactions, this is where you're going to see all that information show up. So let's go ahead and let's add a client here. So as the transaction coordinator, <clears throat> you can either decide if you want the agents to be putting the transactions in themselves and then once it goes under contract, you take over, take control, or if you're the one that wants to be putting in each transaction into the system. If you haven't already integrated your CRM with us, let us know and we can get that set up for you um, because that way it will pull in the transactions when you decide to trigger it and you won't have to add each one manually. Um, but if you don't have that set up, this is how you're gonna be gonna do it. You'll just click this add client button. It's gonna take you to this page. You'll see all the things in bold are the things that are going to be required for you to put in. So you can include, you know, first, last name, all of this information. Click add, it'll pull into our system. And oh, this is where I was going to show you. Here's the so here's the lead source drop down menu. These are just the ones that I have selected as what I want to be tracking. Same thing, mortgage company. You'll see there's that one mortgage company that we have. Same thing with the home inspection company. Oh, it looks like we don't have one. Um, but title company, home warranty company. That's where that's going to show up for you. Okay, and then we'll go back into transactions here and I'll show you what you can do as a transaction coordinator is actually, or just as an admin, you can lock the transactions. So let's say once someone goes under contract, you want to lock the clients so that the agents can't change any information. So all you're gonna do is click this lock button and it's going to lock that out for you and it'll say unlock for you as the admin but your agents won't be able to see it. All they see is this edit and archive button and that way there's only one person that's going through and double checking all the information, um, all the numbers, all the dates to make sure that they are correct in the system. So. 
that's where you can do that. And then if you do need to edit anything, like once it's locked, go ahead and edit and it's not going to be touched after that. And you can just edit all of these numbers um, and all of that information to make sure it is correct. And there are a lot of fields here that you can fill out, but there's a way that you can decide what things are going to be most important to your team. So once again, up in this admin tab, if you go to team settings, this is where you're going to be able to choose what things you want to be tracking. So if we go into this client transaction fields on the left hand side, we're going to see all of those fields we were just looking at. And you probably noticed GCI was at the top. That's because earlier I had rearranged it that way. If you want it to be down by the rest of the amounts, just pull it, drag it down there. Um, you can drag it in whatever order you want. You can click or unclick any of these things to track or not track them. And as soon as you've made that, you can submit it. And that's how it's going to show up in the system for you. Um, so really that's going to be the most important thing for you if, as far as transaction goes. Um, with each of the agents, if you want to go into this admin tab and then click on agents, you can edit each agent if you need to update their email, phone number, um, whatever. This is going to be the area that you're going to be able to do that. So you can go into any agent and edit their information. If you click on this edit button, it'll allow you to edit, you know, name, email, number, like I said, um, or any of their goals as well. And then if you click update, it'll save that. And then you'll see there's an area that you can disable them as well. If they were to relieve your team or not be using Sisu, that's where you're going to do it, as well as add a new agent right here with this button. Please let me know if there's any questions that you have. Um, if anything, if you're running into troubles with anything, please reach out to us. We are more than willing to help you. I hope this tutorial helped you. Um, yeah, enjoy using Sisu. We hope it really helps your team.